us more than anything in the world. But I have to be honest. You know, if I don't, I could lose myself forever, and I just can't let that happen. I understand. I love you. I'll do everything you can, okay? I'll do everything I can. I promise. Before, you know, we haven't fully celebrated you becoming the new face of Bella, have we? No, no, you don't have to do anything special. And I want to do something special. Like what? How about I cook dinner for you? I make a playlist. I light candles all around and turn this loft into a fancy restaurant, all romantic-like. You do that for me? Of course. You know, assuming you're into it. <laughs> of course I'm into it. It sounds amazing. I, I don't want you to go through all that trouble. It's not trouble. I like making you happy. And it's time to show you how much you mean to me. Well, I ordered these drinks because I would like to propose a toast. Oh, oh with, with iced tea? Yeah, iced tea. Just, just a little bit. To John and Marlena. And everlasting love. Everlasting love. Hey. Hey. Hi. Gabby signed the papers. Justin's working on getting the murder charges overturned. Oh my gosh, that is such great news. I, I'm so happy for you, for both of you. Thank you. That's great news. Justin also told me about the letter that Bell sent. About the annulment. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, obviously, you're set on ending this marriage, so. Because I have no choice. Are you ready to sign? You win, I hope. Right. You want us to see me? What? Oh, um. Yes, uh, sorry. I, um. Just got back the forensics report on her <clears throat> death, and I have some questions about the shooting. Oh, well, I already gave a statement to Rafe. Yes, I read it. The problem is, is your story doesn't add up, Kate. Hi, Gabby.